Hi everybody. Everybody, this is Deep Thoughts. I'm sorry I'm fucking pissed off right now. I had so much shit right now, I just can't. I can't fucking take it no more. I, I just gave seven hours to my wife. That stupid fucking cunt bitch. All week, man. All she does is destroy everything in my fucking life, man. Violent, abusive, unstable fucking cunt. You know that? And it's like, she takes my kids out to the countryside and don't do fuck treat me like shit like like tell me I'm trash and she's the most alcoholic crackhead bitch mother you ever seen on the face of this earth and she holds my kids with her stupid fucking tell you what man Tells me about how rich her peacock farmer brother is. Or some stupid shit. And just sits there and mocks me. And tells me that she kicked my son out of my house. And she won't come back. If, if she sees my son in my house, she'll take my other three kids and leave. You know what? Fuck her, man. I don't give a fuck about the visa. Let the police come and fuck her up, man. You know, I didn't want to give her money because she's a fucking thieving bitch cunt. So her brother says he'll buy a ticket back and I'm all cool, man. You buy your crackhead fucking cunt bitch sister a ticket back and I'll pay you as soon as she gets back. No problem. I'm gonna fucking steal your fucking peacock money. Fuck. I'm not gonna give her the money. And he said, nah, he doesn't have to help me shit. He says, give the money first. My wife says, he doesn't have to help me. Not I don't want his fucking help, you fucking freak. Kidnap my kids? And tell me, give money? Fuck you to death, motherfuckers. I'll tell you what, cause I gotta worry about other kind of technicalities in China. So I can't just throw her ass in prison. And I can't just go and take my kids right now. Because I'm a migrant. You know what a migrant is? You know how shitty you treat all the foreign workers in your own country? Well, I, I can get that same treatment, man. So she just fucks me every fucking day. Well, I got a new strategy. You know what my new strategy is? Fuck you. I ain't gonna worry about you. You wanna take my fucking kids and fuck them life up? You already have, man. Fuck their lives to death, man.
cut them up and eat them for dinner, you fucking evil bitch. I'm finished. I'm fucking done. Fucking man, I'll, I'll just wait and let them fucking light their own shit on fire. Fucking crackheads, man. They, I don't need to do shit. These people are so fucked up. Let them fuck up their own shit. I'll, I'll just sit on the sidelines, man. Sit on the sidelines, man. I'm, I'm, I, I fought for 14 years for my kids. I tried so hard. And, and my wife, that bitch, cunt, she used that against me, man. Just treat me like fucking dog shit every fucking day, man. Man, and because I'm a foreign worker, right? Because I'm trying to help my kids. I put up with so much shit like a human fucking slave, you know that? I hope she kills herself in the same fucking house where her fucking father died and her sister died. And fuck off, man. Good, I hope she got depression. I hope she fucking kills herself. Do me a fucking favor, bitch. Die. God. I'm done, man. Six and seven hours, all this time, chasing her and fixing her fucking problems. Woo, how's that for a happy vlog? So anyhow, getting treated like shit from these racist motherfuckers in their little fucking village. Fuck them all, man. Fucking ride a bike, bitch. Put my dog on the back. Suck my fucking dick, you fucking. Grow up to be a fat old bag lady, man. I don't give a fuck about them, man. They can die, man. They're gonna call me and say, oh, can we have their, pa uh, their IDs? Can we have their passports? Hey, whatever. And I'm gonna say, fuck no, you can't, motherfuckers. Who the fuck are you? I'm gonna move. <laughs> I'll just grab my shit and fucking move, man. Fuck them, man. Done. Fucking 42, gave the best years of my life to try to help my fucking children. And this bitch just sucked the soul out of my bones, man. Fucking cunt, man. Yeah, I don't know any other good words. How about some music? Do you like music? I'm gonna fucking ride my bike every day. Fuck her! Ride a bike. Every day. It's my fucking music. Music! bird you motherfucking bitch you 
motherfucker. Fucking man, set me free, bitch. Sick of this shit to death. Sick of this shit, man. I'll still finish his kids' notebooks. I'll do my job. I'll follow my own path now. I've gave my blood. I'm done. Done, done, done. What kind of music is this? Yeah, sit out your red lights, motherfuckers. How you like that red light shit, huh? She want to call me. I'm sorry. Fuck you. Fuck you. Call me. Fuck you. You didn't call me for days, bitch. I ain't answering the phone. Motherfucker! <laughs> Fuck you, make me call and beg you. Fuck you, bitches. You get shit out of me. See how rich you are. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> they want to call. I spent seven hours calling them. Drag me around like a piece of shit. <laughs> Fuck you. I feel good now. I feel good. Fuck you, bus.
gotta fucking work on Maggie's farm no more, bitch! Fuck off! Here's a bridge you can jump off of! I hope she comes and jumps off this fucking bridge and does the world a favor. Life goes on. The universe is still in motion. My ass is still fat, but not for long. Not for long, buddy. Not a big ride today, sorry. I haven't slept that much. Woo! Yeah, baby. Smell the beautiful clean air. Now I am just like fathers everywhere. I got fucked by a bitch. And I am not a bitch. I am clean. Oh my God, my, my soul is clean, baby. Now, I would really like to get some beer, but I'm not gonna get beer. Because I made a commitment. I said I'm gonna stop drinking. And I know I feel like, oh man, give me some fucking beer. That's what I feel like, right? But you know what? I can't. I gotta find a way to get that good fucking fuck yeah feeling without the beer. Maybe this fucking hill will do it. Maybe I should pedal the fuck past it, right? I don't know, man. I got this shit on my bike. Yeah, that hill felt good, but it wasn't a cold beer good. So. Figure it out, man. Buy some cat food, man. How about, buy some cat food and dog food. Yeah. Cat food and dog food, baby. That's what makes me get off. Buy two bitches at the same time. No, I don't need that. I, that bitch is too many, man. I'm sick of bitches. What am I gonna do? I think I will Have some cold water, man. And sit down outside with the dog. After I feed him, of course. And just try to make something good for students. Listen to some music. And I'm gonna do it without any beer. I'm gonna try to look into my soul, man. Because like, normally, I'd be getting beer, right? But this is like AA on a bike.
Fuck the orange Porsche. I'm just going to try to mentally do some mental yoga, baby. I'm going to find those endorphins without any fucking beer. They used to pay Egyptians in beer. This is always a shitty fucking exit, man. Slaves were paid in beer. Nah, man. I don't need to be pacified. I need to be ultra fucking aware, man. I need the opposite of pacification, man. You know what I mean? Fuck you! The opposite of pacification. What is the opposite of pacification? I don't know, man. Well, I'm going to find out, you know, I'm going to sit back, let the machine drive itself a little bit, right? Because that's what 42 is, man. 42 is about waiting and watching and being aware for me. That is rich. That is wealth. That's knowledge. It is what it is. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I am what I am. Fuck, I hate being on the inside. Oh, fuck off, man. I'm trapped in this fucking shithole lane. And now I'm free. And that's how it works, man. Trapped in freedom. Oh man. I didn't get my big boss face on. Okay. You know, let me tell you bitch stories about my bitch wife. You know, she says things to me like, you know, let's get a divorce. And I could watch the kids while you're at work in the day. And I could go out and fuck people for money at night. That's what she said to me, man. And I said, oh, really? That sounds like a fucking awesome idea, you stupid fucking cunt. No, thank you very much. I got an idea. You want a divorce? You be cool. You fucking do it right. Let me put money in my kid's bank so they're safe and I'll take them the fuck out. I'm just gonna fucking leave my kids with shit. Tell me to kick, kick my son out every day, right? She go out and get fucked up. After looking the next day, come back, say, oh yeah, somebody gave me 200 yen. 200 yen is how much you buy a bitch for in China. And then she drunk, she started yelling at my kids, who took my money? And I said, fuck you, you dirty fucking skanky fucking bitch. Bring money into my home from another man and tell my kid, let my, you'll fuck off about you and you're fucking sick of, but she's bipolar, right? 
I gotta deal with that shit. Not anymore, man. I just, I just said to myself, you know, like, don't worry about that bitch, man. Just focus and go to work. And that's what I did, man. I just like sucked it all in, let her abuse me and my kids, and I focused on being a better worker, right? Because as a foreigner in China, I ain't got a fucking choice, man. A lot of people got choices. I mean, I made my choice. If I don't work, I don't get paid. And my wife has fucked up all my fucking savings. Everything, ruined everything I have. So I gotta make sure that I work to feed kids. Just going across the netting just cost 4,000 yen. I didn't got the 20,000 yen for a lawyer, 40,000 yen. I ain't got that kind of money. I can't just let all my customers go to somebody else and lose all my jobs. There ain't nobody watches children with special needs in China. So I had to sit here, man, and bear it all, man. Like every fucked up thing. Did I tell you guys about the one when she went out? And I was at work like 50 kilometers away and she left my door open. And then she came back four days later I had to go to work with my kids, bring my kids to work with me. She fucked four other people and told me it was my birthday present. Can you believe that? Is that sweet? But I'm a migrant worker, man. And you probably think that I'm angry about her fucking other people. You know what? I don't give a fuck. I'm angry that she left my kids alone and the door open and put my kids in danger. You know that? I'm so much far from giving a fuck about her. I've got focus. You know what focus is, man? Focus is doing your job with a smile. When she calls you and tells you to come and get your kids and take them to the hospital, she's cut their heads open. Or she calls you and tells you that they're dead. Or you go home and she locked the front gate of your house. And you got, you got seven policemen cutting the door off and firemen because you got a security door. While she stands in front of all the policemen and just beats your child bloody in front of everybody telling her to stop. Yeah, man, that's fucking awesome, man. I remember one time when I was in the bedroom with my three little kids before my other kid was born, and uh, I had a weight, a bench press, and she grabbed the fucking barbell and started smashing it through my closed door, trying to kill me and my kids. So I shut the door why she was just trying to fucking kill us. Cause I don't want to be killing people in China, right? So, and she was like, broke down the whole door. Was And then she brung the gas propane tank out in front of the door and turned it on and tried to light it and kill us. That was awesome. Luckily I got the police in there and they put her in the funny farm for a week. I had to let her out though. I felt too bad because my babies were just born. I know she's bipolar. She broke the IE's hand that I had, I paid a nanny. 
Broke the nanny's hand. Real sweet, man. I love it when she get big concrete rocks and try to kill my children with it. And then I'm on the street, on the floor, trying to grab her and trying to hold her. If I call, call the hospital with one free hand, try to call a doctor for help, and the neighbors say, what are you doing? Why are you beating that girl? <laughs> oh, I love that part. That's so awesome. Now the neighbors know, though. They all come in groups and call her evil. I just smile and it's like, hey man, sunny day, cloudy day, bipolar, man, it's so good, man. I'm, I'm looking for the happy moments. I mean, I, I had so many stabbings in my house and broken shit, man. That shit don't, it's all normal for, I've had, I've had, t, I've had like, you got like, Five cops come in like with a riot shield against my wife before, you know that? That's awesome, man. Can you imagine if I did that? Like what would happen to me? <laughs> nah, man. This is my karma, man. This is my karma, you see? When I was 26, I used to live in Germany for six years. I had a nice German wife, a dentist. She was perfect, great, great girl. And like I sat in this village with 1,100 people learning to write HTML in the 90s, and trying to make my own business after the wall fell down. There's a really high, appoint, high unemployment rate. And I tried to borrow money for a sign and I couldn't get money for a sign from my store. And like, I just was really frustrated. It was a beautiful village like paradise. I drank too much. Smoked too much because I was like idle. I was trying to make my business and it was real difficult for me. My wife was a dentist and doing great and I couldn't make things work like I wanted. And I wasn't man enough to cope the right way. So I did something real bad. I was real wasted and I slept, well, one of, the, one of the neighbors, one of my friend's mom was drunk and she came over and I had sex with her when I was young and my wife found out, it was like, and I, I was like feeling like, I was feeling like I was, I don't know, I did not understand how lucky I was and where I lived, how it was paradise. I wanted more, man. I wanted, I was always traveling. I was unsatisfied. I was autistic and I fucked up shit, man. And I left my wife, my three cars, my friends. She wanted to divorce. I went to marry. She got divorced. <laughs> so now, my bad karma. Oh yeah, I'm paying for that mistake, man. Paying, paying, like ten, ten much, man. <laughs> I'm gonna pay, man. Major pain. <laughs> I looks like they're cutting down the. So I should turn the. I'll test the light sensitivity since I don't got a light right now. Let's see here. Now we got some night light boost on, right? 
to make up for not having to lie or anything. So I come. My first Chinese wife, man. <laughs> you know what she did once, man? After she tried to kill herself? You know, we had a hard time, man. The government, it didn't like. I can't really talk about having an unpermitted birth. My first son was unpermitted. And that's the story for another time. It was like Midnight Express for like nine months until he was born. There was a lot of bullshit hiding and shit a long time ago. A lot of stress. My wife tried to kill herself one, my ex-wife. I took her to the emergency room to pump her stomach. And uh, I grabbed the doctor, I'm like, yo man, you better save her life. And the guy's all, well give me 20,000 yen and I'll do a better job. So I was like, well, I'll kill you right now. And then you won't do any job, man, you know? Motherfucker. And I'm not even a violent guy, you know? And um, I said that. So after she got out from the attempted suicide, I had a job with the publisher, making children's books. And uh, it wasn't no big deal, but they had a nice house up in Guilin, a company house. So I went up to the company house, took my wife up there to try to help her relax after she tried to kill herself. And I was sitting there, and I'm telling you, I'm not really a violent guy, right? I was sitting there and like, with this Chinese guy drinking beer, having barbecue with my wife, about 400 meters from our hotel. And uh, these punks at this table didn't like to see a foreigner with a Chinese girl and shit. And they smashed your table, their, their beer bottles, like all six of them, and came to try to stab me and kill me and shit. All fun times, man. So I, I'm like, well, I was pretty drunk. And I decided just to fucking run because it seemed like the smart idea to me. The big Chinese guy was trying to fight some of them, but like, sorry, man, I was not a very good fighter. I thought it'd be best to run in that situation. So I tried to run all the way to the fucking hotel and the hotel was locked. So I turn around and here comes a mob to come and kill me. So like, they're trying to stab me in my throat and my face and shit and I'm just like, as soon as I throw one on the ground, there was another one, right? There's a whole bunch of little punks and um, I was trying to fight them, man. And my son was just born. So I was thinking, man, I cannot fucking die right now from this shit, man. No, 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 you know? And then I fell down. I thought it was a puddle and everybody ran away. And I looked down, it wasn't a puddle. It was my blood. I mean, they stabbed me in my ass, kind of, right? <laughs> and my lower back and ran away. Wasn't a big deal. Just a couple, cut, I couldn't walk for a while. Some cut muscles. But my, my wife was just like going crazier. And, and she had a fucking hard life, man. Like, 
like they killed one of her sisters it was an unpermitted birth and then they locked her in a hut and man i tell you i really know how to pick them man so that caused her mental mental problems man like one day she tried to like drink her piss in a cup and like smoke her hair on fire and shit i'm like okay i'm out i took my son out and that's when i got a divorce man so when i got my divorce it wasn't pretty man i gave like for a little bit i let my son stay with my wife Gave him 2,000 yen a month, which was a hell of a lot of money, you know, 15 years ago. And I just went out and fucking, after years of the family planning police on my ass chasing me, and my son was born, and my, I went out to the beach to party a little bit. I was at this beach. With this Dutch guy I met was a crazy millionaire, man. Crazy getting a lot of bitches, man. And I So I brought this girl home from Beihai. Just to you know, and I went into a bar one night. And then I met my wife there. Ah. And me and my wife, we hit it off really good, man. She was smoking hot. And um, I liked that. And she got in a fight with the girl that I brought from Beihai. Nice girl, man. And she pretty much kicked my girlfriend out of the taxi. I should have known something was fucked up right then. And then, um, and then in my, my, my dorm, I washed her up and, uh, I mean, I'd take a girl home and give her a shower, man. <laughs> I'm so crazy, huh? Try to be clean, you know what I mean? You know? And then the next morning, she stole my fucking money. <laughs> and I was, in, I thought, man, this girl was so high. I was like, damn, she didn't have to steal money. She could have asked me. So I tried to find her. Like a fucking idiot. I put the word out I was looking for her. And then a couple nights later, she showed up and my door wasted. Give me money back, said she's sorry. And I said, oh, it's okay. Why not fuck up my whole life? Because I like to take in herd animals and shit, you know? So, we had a crazy, passionate kind of thing going on. Just tons and tons of sex, man. It was just like, I'm not gonna lie about it. It was just like craziness, you know? Sometimes people just click together really good like that. And... But that's not the only thing in life. Let me tell you, man, whoa, no. So I actually broke up with her. I wanted to try to remarry my first wife. And uh, I want to try to remarry her and I'm like, hey man, sorry, I got to try to be a father. And as soon as I got back with my first wife, we got remarried. She was like crazy. I'm like, oh, okay. I remember why I got divorced. Hooked up with my girlfriend again left the city I taught her how to teach kids 
I taught her how to be a teacher's assistant for years. Took her to jobs, trained her, had lots of wild sex still. And like, she was like my dream girl, man. I'll tell you what, man. I was in love. I was like, I don't, I know, man. It was just like crazy from sex, I'm sure, right? Like, a, I was young still. And um, she was my dream kind of girl, man. Like, I, I don't have yellow fever or something like that, but she was once my dream kind of. And then, uh, and I don't mean like, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about her brain power, man. I'm such a fucking idiot. I let my body carry me away. And then I got my son to come up to Guangzhou after about a year, half a year, a year. I want him to live with me and to take care of him. And uh, I started to depend on her. And then she started to be a little bit crazy, a little bit crazier. And then when she came pregnant, I was, I thought it'd be cool to have her kid together. And then she became super fucking crazy after that. And with every child, she got progressively more evil. And now she's the mother of Satan. Yeah. So, I never told that story to anybody before. I know it's kind of different than Mr. Rogers. Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> I'm going to tell you about some fucked up shit here, man. So, um... My whole philosophy in life used to always, you know, I, I didn't have a great childhood, man, like, believe it or not, believe it or not, it's just me. So like, and I was autistic and shit, like, I try not to be judgmental of people, because a lot of times, People were way too judgmental of me. And that was a mistake. Hindsight, baby. Now I'm a man, I'm a fat man. I'm trapped in 86 or 87 kilograms of fat right now. The guy, I gotta burn off. I'm not gonna drink. I would love to have some beer right now, man. Whoa. I'm gonna try to turn that love and that thirst. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to harness that power a little bit, you know? You know what I mean? I'm not saying it's bad to have beer, man. I mean, look at all the wonderful things it's done for me. <laughs> Trees are green. Skies are blue. And this right here, right now, this minute. This cool wind on my face. This is awesome, man. This is something that you don't know. This is what I miss. This is what I love about riding a bike. Right now. This is, this is heavy. If you don't, if you don't know, if you're not paying attention, you might miss it, right? More than a blog, right? A life-changing event. Namaste. 
I am the light. I love you being the light. You know, it's smooth. It's what I like right now. It's what I really like right now. Everything is just perfect right now. It's raining a little bit. this. Do you like that? Oh, I missed this. I missed it a lot. Thank you, God, for this minute. for the rain. Let's go get hooked up with some dog food. Let's get hooked up, man. Sandals are awesome. Awesome, man. They fit so well, Artie. Renaissance Festival, man, right here. This is a Renaissance right now. This is it, man. Rebirth. After the Dark Ages. Enlightenment. Can you smell the rain? I can smell it, man. song at the right time. much I've seen people in other countries that don't know me and I've seen my old father-in-law from my ex my German wife awesome treat me so good better than a father's you know treat me great undeserved I, I never looked for specialness, love, and shit like that. I 
so when my when my wife's family just treats me racist and like shit, I kind of enjoy that. I don't need nothing more, man. I mean, fucking let. Better than the opposite, undeservedly. Look at how hard their life is. They didn't have an easy life. Let them hate me. They should hate me. Look at the first world that I grew up in. The opportunities that were placed on me. If I was them, I would hate me. So I really don't mind. It's all good. Don't mean a thing, Jelly Bean. that swing. Ah. And they always say to me, why am I yelling? Why do I have to, when they're fucking me really good and they're tag teaming me and I'm trying to save my children's shit from fuck up, they'd be like, why are you yelling? You're such a loud foreigner. Am I really, motherfuckers? How about I kill all your peacocks and break your children's teeth out their head? Make it so they can't go to school. Go light all the fucking money in your bank on fire. Piss in your bed. Go fuck all the other people. Go fuck your wife. Did your voice be loud, man? Uh, but they're right, man. Why is my voice loud, man? That's actually Elon Musk said. You should listen to criticism, right? They're right, I don't need to have a loud voice. Simmer down, man. It's all good. Life is just beginning. It's a brand new day, man. It's time to lose some fat. Out with the in, in with the new, or some shit out with the old. That guy, a Hawaiian melody, huh? I feel good, man. I feel good on the inside right now. It's a summer night, man. Summer night, man. It's all good, man. I'm just passing through, man. Passing through the nighttime. I'm glad I got the dog a box. Well, I'm gonna show you guys, the, I got a toe peak box on the back. I don't know if you saw that. Dog's got doggy depression. Poor little dog. Take him for a ride, man. 
let the meek inherit the earth, man. Let them have a peace, man. You know? Chinese people like to go out to restaurants and sit in small rooms. Makes them feel like bosses. Oh man, what a beautiful day. to go right out and get a student's computer and fix it. But it would have cost me an extra hour at least. And I lost too much time to my wife. So I'll do it tomorrow. I got other jobs to do tonight. You know what I mean? Dog food, man. Animals are hungry, man. Almost made it, man. To the big fucking store, man. The store of consumption. Coming to consume. Oh, I feel good. Oh, feel that breeze. Reminds me when I went up to the mountains with my dad when I was really young, and it was raining in the boat. The mountains like in Granby or something, that's nice. That's a nice memory, man. That was some nice shit there. Thank you. 
Now, rain in your eyes, man, that's kind of something that pissed me off a little bit. It's a good reason to have sunglasses, to keep the rain out of your eyes. I kind of feel that way a little bit sometimes. It's a good idea to have lights at night when it rains because visibility is especially low. So uh, I already said he's got me a light so well, I'm trying to hold out but I don't know I can hold out much longer. I'll be right I might pick up some kind of little light just to not die. I don't know, it's all good, man. Nobody's dying. Everybody's okay, right? Except for the animals. I will make sure the animals eat today before I eat, okay? I promise that. They will get their food first. I promise. weather for sandals. Ah, consume. I'm coming to consume. Like a consumer cowboy. This is a consumer cowboy theme song. Burger King. McDonald's. Metro. Consume. 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 Bike no sign. No sign. Uh oh. Consume. We're in trouble, buddies. Not good. They took away my sign, man. I oh, will just do this real quick in and out. Bye,
In and out, man. Consuming. I said, man, there's no lock. Let's test your group integrity. And uh, just leave this shit there. And get the bag and see. This is a social experiment test. Right? Get the dog and cat food. We'll get like the little dog food because this is a cat dog mix, right? What do they know? 105, 7.5 kilograms. That's a fucking 60 indifference. I need to get the diet collar real quick. Get the diet collar real quick. Ah. Get the diet collar. We're addicted to diet collar. It's right next to the beer. We're not getting beer. Where's that? Where's that? We gotta get, gotta get the tire. Gotta get the tire. Back in the back. I see it. I see it. All right. <laughs> yeah, baby. Our mission is done. Cats, dogs, and skinny people. <laughs> Cat stocks, skinny people. Cat stocks, skinny people. Consume. Consume. Consumer. I am a consumer. I am a consumer. I am a consumer. Cats and dogs are hungry. All right, all right, I'm a consumer. I'm a consumer. I'm a consumer. I'm a consumer. 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 Children, come. Consume. Consume everything. Consumption. Let's see if our test worked. Consume. Huh? So easy. Hey, she's in here.
吃这个吗？谢谢啊。这个放到底下，这个放上面 ，OK 了。没问题。Hey everybody, so this is a new topic, T2008. It works really good. It works for the dog and it works for dog food and stuff. Just now.
Okay, I got the seat cover on. We have consumed. Now let's go feed the animal. Oh, what a beautiful day today. Oh, look at this person. Magic. We're gonna test out this rag now. I have to tell you, I prefer the trailer because this is like top heavy, but it's all right. It's only like about, I don't know, like 20 kilos or something. I could feel the flex a little bit. We consumed. We did a consumer fat man race, eh? And this is my therapy. It's so beauty, it's a, a thing of beauty. Watch out, because the cars cannot see you in this kind of weather with the wipers on. So. Yeah, baby! Come on, rain, man! Wash my soul out, man. And my bike. Woo! -hoo! Fish gonna be happy. It's a magic thing. A magical thing. Can you imagine? The day that it rains on Mars again. Can you imagine that? Imagineering? That's what Elon Musk is. He's an imagineer, man. An Imagineer. I just left my bike and my computer and my whole life in front of the store and nobody stole it. I didn't even use the bike lock. All right, this asshole behind me wants to be in front so goddamn bad. Unfortunately, my backlight doesn't have any battery right now. So I'm riding in the black, man. No front lights and no back lights in a rainstorm. I'd rather be right now on this earth 
Then right here. Right now. Right now. This is okay right here. With all the benefits. I'll be here now. This is my cold beer. Thank you, God. Thank you. This is that cold beer. Don't you know? Kick it in and laugh. Do you know that some of the Beastie Boys have died? I mean, such awesome music. And he's not walking on this earth no more, man. All of his money and all of his success. And how lucky we are that we're still on this earth. People don't even know what rich is, what rich means, man. This is rich. This is wealthy. This is wise. Oh, this is not smart though, man. Fucking car! Sandals work great, Artie. Feels good, man. See, I didn't have time to swim. But I kind of am right now, so. Everything. Alles und nicht. In German that means everything and nothing. Oh, it's good to be back on the bike, guys. This is like a special treat, huh? A welcoming ride. Not good. No lights, man. This kind of weather, man. We gotta fix that one day. 
I wouldn't take my dog out, but he don't like the rain. We'll see if he's okay with it or not. Let's see if he's okay. I know he does not a rain dog though. He don't like the rain. I don't want to make him sick or something. I get out a little bit tonight and go work outside. Hope the dog food's okay. Big bag to get wet. It's like a haunted house, man. A haunted house, but he's... Top heavy, huh? Now, I don't come down this road, so I'm not sure what's here. I better be careful. the rain, huh? I like the rain. Oh, it's raining. Oh. How'd you get out of the house, young man? Oh, did you get out of the house? I got food, man. I got food, buddy. Oh, kitty, I got food. Okay, wait a second. All right. All right. Oh. Yeah, okay, I'm coming. Okay. Okay. Keys, me keys, got the keys. Huh. All right, who wants some food? Ah. Food for cats and food for dogs. Huh? Kitty, kitties. Oh, I gotta clean up this house. So dirty. I've got no time to clean. Kitty kitties. Oh, got some food. Okay, hold on.
All right, guys, this is one of the cats. This was called Tacos Cabin lived here. This is Robert Deep That Cycle Blog. And um, I don't know if you can see me, man. But we made it. There's the dog, here's the stuff. And um, like I said, it was, a, it was the cold beer, right? Take it easy wherever you're at. Namaste, right? See you later, okay? Bye bye, thank you. Thanks for riding. Really, uh, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, don't subscribe. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do, right? That's my job. <laughs>